Hey there, we're gonna talk about the 3D printer, this MakerBot Replicator Plus. We're gonna talk about how to set it up and some of the safety concerns. The way the 3D printer works uses plastic from a spool and it goes through the extruder and the software prints it out and moves the extruder around to get it onto the build plate to make a three-dimensional object. So some of the safety concerns, the extruder gets extremely hot, over 200 degrees Celsius. So we wanna make sure that that is not touched. Additionally, this gantry moves and is open, so we'll wanna make sure that there's no loose clothing or jewelry. We'll start by changing the filament for the MakerBot. To do that, I'm gonna use the on-screen controls. And so I'm gonna to go to filament and unload filament, selecting that. Now it's gonna go through its process to heat up the extruder and eject the filament. So it's just ejecting the material. So I'm going to lift up the material tray and it says unloading is complete. So I can spin this around to take back in the filament. I'm gonna use these two tabs to eject the spool. And then I'm going to secure the end of the filament so it doesn't get lost, like that. Next, I'm gonna take my new filament spool and same way, I'm going to clip it into the material tray so it's secured and stick it into the receiving hole. And I feed it through. I'm watching for it to come out of this tube and just by a couple of inches. And now on my screen, I will choose load filament. Again, it will heat the extruder up to the appropriate temperature and you'll follow the on-screen instructions. So it says to load the filament and I will insert until it begins pulling on its own and I will let it pull. Then I'm gonna watch down here until my filament extruded is turns to the orange that we need. So it's coming out, I'm watching and now it turned orange. So I can select that the filament is extruding. Now I'm gonna head over to the computer to set up the print. Using the software MakerBot Print, I've opened my design and I can see it on the build plate. I'll adjust the settings to what I'm looking for in this product. Now that I have my settings properly adjusted, I'll send it to the printer. Now that the file has been sent over to the printer, it will go through a few initializing steps and then begin printing. I'm gonna stick with the 3D printer just for a couple minutes to make sure that the print has started appropriately. Once it's done with a couple layers, I'm gonna go ahead and step away and let the 3D printer work its magic. Now you'll notice that our print has finished. So we easily pull the tray off and we can flex the tray to loosen our print and pop it off. In the case that it is a little more difficult, we do have the spatula here to help um, remove the material. Once we have it off of our plate, we can reinsert and snap in the build plate. Now we're ready for our next print job.